Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going into details of where you could buy used home stuff. As I posted a lot of videos about moving to Dubai, finding a place to live, a few questions about where to get furnishing of the home came up. I have previously shared with you guys where to look for furniture and home decor online, but those are the ones that are selling new stuff. Dubai is a city where a lot of expatriates go in and out of so there are a lot of good use items that people who are living Dubai decided to sell now I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a few places that you could look for use items in Dubai I'm going to be splitting this into two the first three lists will be the places online that you could find use item and the first one is Dubizel. I have talked about Dubizel before in my where to look for an apartment in Dubai where I share the websites that you could find apartment listings at. Now Dubizel is also a place where you could find a lot of other things as well. In this case, we're talking about furniture. They have a specific category on their main page where you could look for furniture and garden items I guess now if you click into it you will be brought to their specific page which shows you what are the stuff that are currently available and of course as usual with this kind of site you could filter it you could sort it according to the price point that you are looking for and as you can see here there are there are already grouped in their category like this one if you're looking for sofas they have about 4,000 listings and they have beds and bed sets about 3,000 listings so there are a lot of choices that you could look for and maybe narrow it down to the nearest place that you could get them when you click into each item you are able to make an offer or continue to chat with the weasel to just negotiate on the price and stuff so this is is definitely one of those places that you could look for now the next one is probably somewhere that regardless of where you're moving you could probably use this one which is the Facebook marketplace I found this one article where the writer listed down all the specific Facebook group they even have like a specific group for people who are looking for IKEA stuff use IKEA stuff that is such a great resource and I will link her article in the description box as well together with the list of Facebook group that you could click into and find whatever you need for your house and the next online place is another website which is Think Upcycle now different from Facebook group or Dubizel they are kind of a company I guess where they can pick up and deliver to your doorstep it's not always you going to the seller's place to buy and get the stuff they have like a system they could also buy furniture from you if you want to move into a different type of apartment where your current furniture is not suited for the layout then you could contact them and sell your stuff to them with with all these three places that you could find stuff online you do have to be aware of scams because there are a lot going on on the internet people are out there trying to take advantage of other people so you really have to meet in person and only hand over that money to them once you have seen the condition and you are right there to pick it up so please take note on that now we're on to the offline section of where you could buy you stuff in Dubai I have two shops in Banya Square and with this kind of shop I think it is depending on the service that they are providing I cannot tell you for sure whether they do delivery or not but it's worth going there and explore what they have to offer there. The first place is Malik Al Medina. Like I said, it is in the Banya Square in Dera. They are open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. From the article that posted about this particular shop, they said that if you're looking for the best secondhand furniture in Dubai, then Malik Al Medina is the right choice. They offer many other things such as used office furniture. Also, they have a 
gigantic collection of old electronics from the picture I could see that there are old television if you're looking to upcycle or use it as an antique home decor this is the place for you to look for those they have sort of rustic type of frames if you're looking to decorate your place to look more classic then this is definitely the place for you to go another place that is in the Banya Square if you are going there anyway maybe you could check out this place as well it is called the Najmat Suhail used furniture trading from the address it looks like it is in Banya Square but I'm not sure how close it is with the first shop as for timing they are open from 9 30 a.m. to 11 30 p.m. on to the next place that you could look for secondhand furniture is Alias it is located at the France cluster of international city they are open from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. but on Friday they have a different operation hour so you might want to check on that first on this article it is said that it's a one-stop shop for furniture buying and selling similar like thing upcycle you could sell your pieces to them another interesting thing about Alia shop is they don't only sell you stuff but they also sell recycled stuff meaning if they bought something from someone they might refurbish or redecorate it to be something that's new you might be able to find some interesting and unique pieces at this place on to the last place it is called Antika similar to Alias they sell either old or recycled item if you are trying to be more environmental friendly this is the place for you and Antika slogan is either old or friendly they have old or pre-owned furniture from Rajasthani and Gujarati in India meaning pieces that are more geared towards the craftsmanship from these two places and their products are made of recycled wood and a touch of love this particular store is located at the Times Square Center they are open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. so with this kind of offline shop you are of course able to negotiate the price to come to a fair conclusion for both parties especially for the physical store you could also discuss the professional cleaning option or transportation of the items that you bought especially if you don't have your own vehicle yet or if the item is too big for you to carry alone then you might have to discuss that with the seller all in all I hope these resources are useful for you I will link the article that I found these resources from and like I said the Facebook group that you could look for those item to be rehomed into your apartment as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel be sure to turn that notification bell on so that you get notified every time i post and i'll see you guys in my next video bye